good. So we are now, we're live. Cool. Welcome everybody. I think. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in marriage. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy and for their help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Into this holy union, Ryan Michael Gallagher Kent and Caroline Marie Fromm now come to be joined. If any of you can show cause why they may not lawfully be married, speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> for everyone on the webcam, you can add a comment. <laughs> <laughs> Smart move. Yeah. I require and charge you both, here in the presence of God, that if either of you know any reason why you may not be united in marriage lawfully in accordance with God's word, you do now confess it. <laughs> Caroline, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, in sickness and in health, and, forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will? Yes. I will. <laughs> Ryan, do you have this woman to be your life, to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I will. Will all of you, witnessing these promises, do all in your power to uphold these two people in their marriage? We will. We will. We will. Sorry, I forget most people don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> so, the Lord be with you. Let us pray. O oh, gracious and ever-living God, you have created us in your image. Look mercifully upon this man and this woman who come to you seeking your blessing and assist them with your grace that with true fidelity and steadfast love they may honor and keep the promises and vows they make today. Amen. You may be seated.
So, for those of you online and for those of you who know Carrie, um, today was supposed to be efficient, was, was going to be our dear Aunt Cappy. Um, and she had prepared a wonderful homily to speak to Ryan and, and Carrie. And she has shared that with me today. And these words so perfectly sum up your relationship and so perfectly sum up what we all see between the love of you two. And so these are her words that she wrote for today. Caroline and Ryan, as I was pondering my remarks for you today, I, being long married, was sure I had so much wisdom to impart that I could keep you here all evening. I thought about all the warnings I could offer and helpful suggestions I could share about dealing with the less glamorous side of marriage. That day-to-day -day stuff that isn't all rosy, things such as illness, changes in working situations, profound disappointments and the stress of the unexpected. The perfect theme for my remarks. Until I thought back over the year that has passed since you have asked me to share this day with you, pandemic, lockdown, a socially distanced wedding. And I thought, well, that's no good. They don't need that sermon. They've already lived it. And then of course, there's that wonderful passage from St. Paul to the Corinthians that's so expressive about what love is and what it is not. And I ruled that theme out as well. If you need a reminder, use BibleGateway.com to look up 1 Corinthians 13, 1 through 13. Instead, it's the relationship you two share that I want to speak about, because that's the real backbone of any marriage. Jesus often used the language of parables when he spoke to his disciples or the crowds, and this symbolic language is perfect for describing relationships. Some may think of relationship as a tapestry created through the weaving together of lives, or perhaps as a partnership of equals, maybe of dance of mutuality, or, as I do for a marriage, as a tree of life. I have to say, you two have one of the strongest root systems of any couple I know. The fact that in spite of all that's happened in the last year, you still come together today to formally pledge yourselves to each other is a testament to how deep those roots you have already grown. Likewise, the trunk of your relationship is strong. You've upheld each other in trying and unexpected times, and you're actively shaping your life together with this commitment in your new home. But relationship, like trees, don't flourish if they're neglected. Left unfed or unwatered, what I charge you today is nurturing and caring for your relationship with intentionality and purpose. Jesus gave us the great commandments to love our neighbors as ourselves, and I charge you today with a slight variation. Love each other as you love yourself. Treat each other with patience, forbearance, and a generosity of spirit in all things. Of course, you already know that not every day is perfect. No one gets their way all the time, and honestly, there's so much of our life that's beyond our control. In those trying times, remember the strong tree of life you've grown day by day. The joy your love is putting out into the world Talk to each other, not about each other to others. Don't ever make an argument all about who wins and who loses, or who's totally right and who's totally wrong. Instead, try responding with what I've come to think of as the magic words for a long-lasting, long-loving relationship by saying, you could be right, and really mean it. Give each other the benefit of the doubt forgive each other, and above all else, let kindness ever be the foundation of your words and actions. And now for the marriage.
<laughs> now that Ryan and Caroline have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and giving and receiving of, of a ring, I pronounce that they are husband and wife. God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation and giver of all grace, look with favor upon the world you have made, and especially upon this man and this woman who are joined in marriage. Amen. Give them wisdom and devotion in the ordering of their common life, that they may be to the other a strength in need, a counselor in perplexity, a comfort in sorrow, and a companion in joy. Amen. Give them grace when they hurt each other to recognize and acknowledge their fault and to seek others' forgiveness and yours. Amen. Give them such fulfillment of their most mutual affection that they may reach out in love and concern for others. Amen. Grant that all married persons who have witnessed these vows may find their lives strengthened and their loyalties confirmed. Amen. It is my very great pleasure to present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Kent. You may now kiss each other. Thank you. 
All right, now one for everybody that's watching. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, <laughs> we love you. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Thank you. 